Hello everyone. Um, I really wasn't expecting to do a meditation today and I kind of got zinged and was like, oh no, I knew there was time to do one. I just hadn't felt that urge and like I've said before, if I don't feel that, then I'm not, I'm not going to fake something that's not there. Um, that's just not how I am. And, um, but it was really odd because I was like, that's weird that, you know, it feels like a good day to do one. It's hot, but it feels like a good day to do one. Um, and I definitely have more time. I have more people to help today and that sort of thing. And so I was like, oh, you know, okay. And then all of a sudden, pow. <laughs> so, um, I'm really kind of excited. I've kind of made this more of a um, sacred to me place um, on our property. I, I'm in a spot where I have shade and things like that and I'm comfortable um, and I'm really enjoying getting back outside and doing things. I kind of shared this morning I'm in the same spot where my husband and I share stuff um, each week. We just kind of take time to be together and set our intentions for the week. And since we've been doing that, um, it's been an amazing deepening experience in our relationship. And we've been married for 20 years, so almost 21. Um, so it's been very nice. Um, but I want to make sure I have enough time for this meditation. I'm not quite sure how it's going to go. Uh, but I hope you'll get comfortable, um, whether you're seated, laying down. Um, I know some people can do walking meditations, um, and if that's you, that's awesome. Um, but let's just kind of get comfortable and relax. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And again in. And exhale. And if you've done meditations with me before, you know it doesn't matter whether you're breathing in through your nose or your mouth or exhaling through your nose or your mouth, just whatever is comfortable and gets you to breathe deeply, really expanding that belly, and then exhaling, so you're getting deep into your body. Let's try that again. Deep breath in, and exhale. Deep breath in, and exhale. Again, deep breath in and exhale. Now I'd like you to get your grounding cord going from your root chakra. This is a golden cord that anchors you into the earth, anchors your body deep into the earth. And it may be as thin as a thread or as thick as a huge rope. But either way, imagine it coming from your root chakra, going deep into the earth, spreading out like the roots of a tree, deep into the earth. Let's take another deep breath in. And exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Now I want you to imagine your, your crown chakra opening. Imagine source light and energy streaming in through your crown, going through each of your chakras until it goes out your root chakra through your grounding cord deep into the earth. Feel this wonderful source energy pulsing through your body, not just going through your chakras, but emanating from there, 
going through your arms, your legs, down into your fingers and toes. Fill it through, filling up your entire being. Deep breath in and exhale. One more time, deep breath in, exhale. Now imagine the source light and energy filling your heart chakra. You feel whether you would call it your source or self or soul filling you, getting bigger and expanding until your entire aura and energy field, field is filled with this light. I want you to imagine this golden light has fully enveloped you now. And it just feels like pure bliss, happiness, joy. It feels like you are coming home. And it's fully enveloped you and it is carrying you. And as we're gliding through the air in this golden bubble, we see a black wall and we've passed through something similar before. We know there's nothing to fear. This is just taking us to another place, perhaps in another time. And on the count of three, our golden bubble is going to pass through this black wall. One, two, three. And we come to the other side of the wall. We're still in our golden bubble. Take a deep breath if you need one. Remember you are safe. There's nothing to fear. And we see that we're near an enormously large white building. It's breathtaking because it shines and radiates all on its own. There's its own energy pulsating from this building. And normally we would not be able to get close but our golden bubble is protecting us from any excess energy that maybe our normal body couldn't tolerate and so we're going closer to the building and we see others that are like us traveling in golden bubbles others are walking and we're able to go into this building and it looks like an enormous library, but it's one, it's more magnificent than any building we've ever seen or can recall in this lifetime. There's people and beings from all times, all realities, coming to this giant library of information of lifetimes. And we've come today because many of us are ready for new information or a reawakening of information. Many of us have had many lives and it's time to reactivate some memories to help us now in this lifetime. 
And so I want you to imagine floating along in your golden bubble. You're still filled with joy and happiness, love, It's akin to the happiest moment in this lifetime and then amplifying it and amplifying it again. There's such a peace and a warmness of energy. It's beautiful. And I want you to remember you've walked here before you floated in bubbles here before. You've been here before. You know what information you need. You know where you need to go. For some of us, that will be up several flights of stairs and finding our own book or treasure. For someone else that may be talking to someone or going down steps, down a long hall, but I want you to find where you know you need to go. Where I need to go is not where you necessarily need to go. And so for now, I'll lead the best I can, but I want you to go. Go where the book or the memory or the conversation, you know where you need to go in this library. And many of you are just thinking that thought and you're going immediately there. That's beautiful. Others are having to actually physically go there and that's okay too. There's no right or wrong way to do this as long as you get to where you need to go. On the count of three, we will move forward to that moment to be where we need to be in this library. One, Two, three. And you find yourself in this right place, either with a person you're supposed to have a conversation with, with a book in front of you, or a scroll, or perhaps you're at a computer or have a tablet or some other device that you don't even know what it is but it's just where you need to get the information from. I want you to take a deep breath. As you reach out and whatever you need is now in your golden bubble. And I want you to reach out on the count of three and if it's a conversation, then the person is in your bubble and you're touching them. If it's reading a book, you're touching the book. If it's a scroll, a computer, so on, you're touching that item. One, two, three. Imagine yourself touching this person or this item. And this is giving you now something you need. Some of you are opening books and you still may not be able to read what's written. Some of you may see a sentence or a message that you need right now. Some of you may be conversing with someone and hearing something. Or perhaps the computer is talking to you. But right now I'm going to just be a bit silent and let that message come in. I'd encourage you to breathe deeply and listen. 
or feel. Remember your breath. If you're overwhelmed, breathe deeply. Many of you are still in ecstatic, pure joy and love. And that's beautiful. A few people are fearful. It's okay. Breathe through that. You're safe. There's a reason you're here. Soon it will be time to go, so if you're conversing or getting a message, I'll give you a few more moments here. And now it is time for us to go. And it's hard to leave this place because it's so beautiful. There's so much knowledge. It's all right here at our fingertips. And yet we have a beautiful life to go back to and so much more to experience. And so our golden bubble travels back through the library to the front doors and we look out and we can see the park that we've been to before and it's a beautiful sight there's people flying and playing and meditating and there's so much happiness so much joy and we know we can come back here whenever we want but for now it's time to go back through that black wall and come back to earth where we came to play and to experience so many things and we're learning now how to shift our experience even more and to help others do the same. And on the count of three, our golden bubble will travel through the black wall. One, two, three. We've traveled through the black wall and we can see our bodies. We're floating back to our bodies until our golden sphere has enveloped our body and on the count of three we'll go back into our bodies one two three I want you to slowly move your fingers, your toes, your arms, your neck. 
slowly open your eyes. The nice thing is that that golden sphere is always there and it's always with us and um, I've been really practicing more intentionally of having that feeling and emanating it, um, having it radiate out from my inner being outwards to my energy field. Um, I've done that before bed a, a lot especially and it's really helped me to sleep very deeply um, and so I, I just I very much enjoy that I hope uh, well I don't hope I know many of you had some beautiful messages and things that you you're you've done so much work we all have and it was time to kind of either you could call it an upgrade or a download or um, just something that you needed to hear at this point on your journey. Um, for some of you, maybe that's the next step uh, in what you're supposed to do. And um, for others of us, it's like rekindling a memory and something that we knew in another lifetime that we can now use in this lifetime. And it's so interesting to do a medit <laughs> to lead a meditation like that because it's um, no one is having this and having the exact same experience we're having a very similar experience but no one is having the exact same and so sometimes it's hard to find the words um, for everyone in that experience so uh, I really try to touch on whatever I'm feeling and what's coming to me energetically um, and so it, it's a, it's very weird but it's, it's so cool too at the same time um, I, uh, I, I said last week I think last week's video the meditation video had about 90 views but no one responded so um, if you can, if you're able and you would like to and you enjoy this video, I hope you can give it a like for um, for YouTube algorithms, I guess, um, or share it with someone um, as well that you feel like might benefit from it. And I would still absolutely love to know your experience either with this meditation or another meditation um, and just if this was some I guess missing piece that you definitely needed this experience it's it's nice to hear that um, it's not necessary but it's nice to hear that as well um, and I just I love to know what others uh, are getting from this too um, it, it means a lot to me to be able to come to you and to do this um, <laughs> hard to find the right words I very much enjoy this and I would very much do this if not another person ever responded. Um, but I do so enjoy sharing with other people their journeys too. Um, and I think that's kind of a building up of one another. So if you have time or a moment to leave a few sentences, it would be so appreciated. And if you don't, that's okay too. <laughs> um, it's so interesting because uh, as far as I'm concerned, time doesn't really exist, which is a whole nother discussion for another day. But it's when I'm doing these meditations, it's like everyone that can, that ever comes into that, whether it's a year from now or two years from now or whatever, you can still energetically feel everyone doing that meditation in the moment of the meditation 
which would just be another argument that time doesn't really exist. <laughs> so it's very interesting um, to lead these and they're so enjoyable and I so enjoy every person that comes on this journey and shares their journey with me um, and spending this time together. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope if you're in a very hot place, you are trying to stay cool. And um, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day, life, time. Enjoy yourself.